Give us the 30,000 foot view. What problem does, uh, um, I keep losing it on the screen because now it's something different from the last time you were on. Screen Studio. Screen Studio. What, what, what problem does Screen Studio solve and, and how well did I describe it? Uh, at the time, I was trying to record my desktop as I would like anybody else. Uh, I have an old computer and I have an old laptop and uh, trying to work with uh, currently existing solutions to record a desktop wasn't really working, was, wasn't really effective. So I had to uh, rely back on the old FFmpeg from the command line to record a desktop, which was working really great. But at some point, uh, I said, okay, let's let's make a, uh, an interface for that, so it would be easier just instead of using a, a script from the console, and that's how Screen Studio got to be to be pr uh, created. And uh, once I was done with that interface, which I called Screen Studio because previously I made Webcam Studio, uh, then I published that on the web, and everything started there three years ago, exactly today. Oh yes, uh, happy birthday on that! I was just—we uh, were just discussing that in the email a few days ago. Uh, what? Um, well, so so now I'm I'm confused. So Webcam Studio did a lot of that. So what's what's Screen Studio and how is it different? Webcam Studio, as its name says, uh, was mainly oriented to using the webcam and was relying on the streamer platform. Uh, which changed a lot over the time. So I got to some point that I couldn't maintain Webcam Studio as the needs uh, change since uh, since I created Webcam Studio. Uh, if I go back in 2012, I was to a point that the, there were many issues with Webcam Studio and people were not broadcasting their webcam anymore. They were broadcasting their desktop. and. Webcam Studio couldn't, couldn't really handle that properly. So uh, I took the big decision in 2012 to stop working on Studio, took a short break, and in 2014, uh, there we go again, started a new project called This Time Screen Studio, uh, meant to record the screen even on uh, low-spec computers so it would work and create screencasts of whatever you want to show. And and so uh, when you say record the screen, why why would I want to do that? I, I I already know the answer to this, but why why tell tell our audience why why you'd want to record the screen? At the time, what I wanted to do was uh, to create some short tutorial about Ubuntu. So I want would I uh, was wanting to uh, okay let's how let's see how to use um, evolution for e your emails and how do you configure your iPhone and Ubuntu to make them talk together stuff like that that uh, I love to produce some short video clips so short tutorials um, showing how to do this. So basically, it was meant to create short recordings, but eventually streaming got involved uh, with Twitch. And uh, you have also, uh, not Ustream, but YouTube, uh, where you can live stream. So I integrated that into Screen Studio, and I was able to easily screen and broadcast, uh, screencast and broadcast my desktop with a webcam overlay and a lot of stuff have been added since uh, I created Screen Studio. But basically, it's I want to show how to do, I play a game and I can stream my gaming on Ubuntu and other Linux, Linux distribution also.